Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So in previous couple of videos we were talking about the technology APIs and uh, that is done. And here we can see all the routes for the technologies like get, put, post, uh, delete, get by ID, delete by ID, update by ID, uh, create new technology and uh, get all technologies. Okay. I mean this was basic CRUD and uh, we already have this in the controller. Now the next target for us is to write the post controller and post services. Okay, this was the technology controller, right? Uh, controller route is this, and API v1 is a global prefix, and we have this HTTP get, HTTP get by ID and create. So it will return 201, it will return 200, it will return no content to a core, right? So these are the HTTP status code and these are the APIs we have and when, when we see this in the swagger you can also see the schema created right the name is required and for update I mean name and ID is required right so this is a basic swagger spec and in our in the future we also going to have authorization on top of these APIs so they will not be public publicly accessible now next thing we are going to do let's go to the entity relationship diagram here our next point is talking about the post APIs and their relationship with the post type, bookmarks, uh, post type, technologies, user, comments, lot many, right? So first of all, post should have a relationship with the post type and the technology ID is a foreign key there. The so post type ID is a foreign key. Technology type ID, technology ID or type ID is a foreign key and there is also a user. So we'll create these three entities and define their entities relationships. Okay. So let's take a look here in the entities. So let's create a user. We'll have user ID, email, last login provider and all. So how to create it? Simply just copy this. And here we can actually define user dot entity dot ts. So it's like a new entity we are creating. The only tricky part is uh, defining the relationship. Okay, uh, primary key ID is a UUID. Our uh, table name can be a uh, simple user. Okay, this is user entity. So we are going to store only email. Email is type where care length is 255 string. And what else we have? So we have last login. Let, let's check the entity relationship diagram. What do we have in the user? In the user, we have user ID, email. That's primary. The user ID is nothing but auth ID, which is coming from Firebase. Okay. So that is important. That is also of type care 255. So here we will have a user ID. Let's keep it as a, okay. The column name should use the underscore and we should follow the same thing. Unique true that is false. Length 255 email should be unique because that will be unique in the Firebase also. And user ID should also be unique, I will say, because two user can't have same auth IDs. Okay, and the uh, remaining thing you will decide the other columns whatever we are going to have user ID, email, and ID. And this is our entity user. Now our primary entity is a post. Post dot entity dot ts. Okay, so this is going to maintain the relationships. So here we will say post. Uh, I will call it as a technology post. So give it a proper name. Okay, it will have the ID now. What all entities it is, what all entity attributes it, it has. ID, title, name, description, lot of things, right? So ID, title, Title will not be a nullable true. 
name all the other things can be in the label true okay id title name a description about your post we will not fix the, the limit here let's keep it as a varying worker okay what else we have uh, the medium level tags this is a summer object technology name medium level tags technology name can be worker i mean it will be just a generic technology name Positioning work in the label true, and then we'll have medium. Sorry, level. Level can be enum. Now it can be enum of type three things: level, medium, intermediate, advanced. String the label true. Okay, the label true. Type. Now we'll define the association. There are many columns in the post like technology ID. Now we can also have. Another thing is a media link author. Author can be owner. We don't need any additional attribute for that. So author media type. Let's call it as a media link. That is string. Now other other columns we are going to have like owner. Owner will not be a straightforward. It is going to be derived from the user entity, right? So we will define like user is a having a primary key and it will be a foreign key here and user can provide can put multiple posts right so first we will define the relationship from the user to the post right and that will be one to many one user can uh, publish a multiple posts right so for one to many relationship like uh, let's take an example uh, here uh, so So how we define these relationships? So we have to use this type RM thing to define that relationship. Okay, so here, so we need to understand these relationship. One to one, one to many, uh, many to many, or many to one. I mean, which annotations you will put in which entity? Okay, let's say I have like you, so simply user and there is a post right it is like one is to n one user can trigger uh, multiple posts right so what all under annotation what annotation i will put in the user entity what annotation i will put in the post entity that is important thing because if we are putting the annotations correctly the the relationship will create it automatically and you don't need to write any query to populate this table and this kind of a relationship right so what we will do is we will use this type of RM relationship which is like one to one, one to many, uh, many to many. So if I let's talk about user and here we are talking about user and uh, the post. Okay. So we are going to use these annotations. Let's uh, talk about them. Why this stop talking one to many. Okay. Then there is a any two one. Okay, the importance like what syntax you will be writing, right? So these all are coming from uh, type RM, right? And based on these entities only. So we are actually defining these entities, and based on these entities only, the relationship will be uh, triggered. Okay. So here let's say this is one to many I mean uh, this particular table is going to have many records right so it will be many to one relationship many to one means many posts will belong to a single user okay here we'll define the association and where it will be belongs to user okay and what is the relationship with the user there will be a, a column in the user entity and we can name it as user posts okay
and this column will be known as user id here because we are in the post entity so it will be user underscore id and that is of type uh, user we have the entity name something else i think that is uh, it is take a look uh, it is user only okay now what you need to do is you need to define the user post in the user entity okay that is not there that's why it is complaining in user you will be defining one to many that means one user belongs to many posts and that will be of type array so here uh, talk about this thing so here we will define a relationship one to many one to many one is gaps okay here I mean one will belongs to many posts right so it is it's known as a technology post it is not coming okay technology post event and which column it is pointing to it is pointing to user id wait a second yeah user id and here the column name would be the same what column name we have defined here in the posts that is user posts make it as a caps because it will be multiple public user posts and the type for this uh, is technology post in array not it so we have what we have done is we have defined one to many relationship from user to post and many to one from post to user and they are bind by like this with these attributes so what it will do is in the post table it will create this user id similarly we can have the technology id also so technology id will also be a foreign key in the post right so let's do the same thing so here I will say, I mean, ID will automatically get added when we move it. So let's keep it user only. Technology will points to technology entity. Same thing will be here, and this will points to technology post. And this column you will be creating in the technology with one to many same as we have done in the user okay it's user not user id we have changed it so this you will be defining in the technology here we are so it's it is actually pointing to post so that is correct technology post is fine let's import the missing things okay here uh, in the post what column name we have is uh, the column name is technology post so same we will use here same name technology post and this is pointing to technology Cool. So we have defined the same set of association, and you can also. Oh, it is not coming. Okay, on delete, cascade. Mm. Is there anything wrong? Okay, yeah, that is fine. So what I'm saying is, on delete cascade. If I'm deleting uh, the technology, then I need. I will be deleting the posts also, or you can just say on delete assign to null also that the technology will become null for those i think this is also acceptable 
okay yeah it is set null not null this should be acceptable yeah so this you can define based on your relationship right now if i do npm run db sync what should happen if i have container up and running i will give it a try to see what update i'm going to receive in my tables so let's go to docker compose okay so what we'll do is let's correct in the next video and i uh, will write more apis for creating the post updating the post and populating the user information in our postgres tables